come back to bring it to life with Gail. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you will know the next time I upload a video. Today it is a craft fair series video, but it is a little bit different than the paper, paper craft I usually make. No worries, paper crafts are coming as well, but today I just wanted to show you a simple project for some people that don't do paper craft, that wanted different ideas to do at their craft fair. Um, I hope nobody starts mowing because they were mowing and I waited for them to be finished to do this. So I just wanted to show you something simple. This is gonna be a couple of projects all combined into one, but it is woodwork. Now this is super easy and it is something that is selling very well at the antique shop that I'm at. Um, and it is also becoming more and more popular. And this is for decoration purposes only. And it is cutting boards. I just wanted to do a video on how I make my cutting board. Now I didn't make this one, but I, am, I do use the pattern of this one because I really think it's super sweet and super nice. Um, I'm doing a different look on these today and I hope that you will enjoy them. Um, I have a sh Menards here in Kansas City which is right 10 minutes from my house which could be dangerous <laughs> but um, I went over today and they had already this pre-cut wood. Um, it is a uh, 10 by 12 inches and it's called value wood. I think it was like 259 or something like that. It fits right in the camera. So what I want to do is I want to make a big cutting board like this for decoration purposes only and I'm going to cut it out sand it down and just show you what you can do with a simple piece of wood like this and sell these at um, your craft fair sell them in a boot if you have one um, give them as gifts this is also something that is very popular right now to for decor for decor in your home so you can make uh, cutting boards for gifts for decoration for farmhouse looks or whatever so I'm just going to show you what I do with this one so I'm just going to turn this around real quick here what I like to do is I, I I love the string on this one so I can just hold it up I can clamp this down if I want to but what I do is I simply just hold it down and I trace around it all the way to this end and I know that I need to go further out here and then I do the same thing on the other side with I, I'm going to round it off with my sander and I just basically that's all I do I know you can't see it I should have used a pencil but I do have my outline right here and what I will do is I will use a ruler and I will go straight out here and straight out there and then I will show you how I round it off at the end so give me one second, I will trace this with a pencil and show you exactly what I mean. So I did it with a permanent marker so you can kind of see. All I do is outline it here, but here when I, I cut it straight, but when I um, sand this down because of the rough edges, I go ahead and round that off. So because of the, I look like alfalfa, there we go. Um, because of the noise, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this and show you the end result. I might go ahead and cut a few of them so that way it's all done and then we can go process too. Super easy to do and so sellable. Here we go. So after I cut it, I'm gonna go ahead and sand my edges and sand my top and I will show you that process. I am actually using my Black & Decker and it is a edge, like a triangle sander. And I'm going to go ahead and sand this down.
the change, because I have some color here, it's being thrown on my, um, my wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this up. And, oh, the corner stayed there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the surface and then I will show you. Okay, so for the next project, I just grabbed uh, this wood that they have. I don't even know what it measures. It is a five and a half by 15, 19, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23, 23 and a half. So, it's not an even piece, it's just a piece that they cut to use and then they resell the remnants pieces, basically what it is. So what I did is I took one of them and I cut myself uh, three blocks of six, every six inches. So it measures six by the five and about, it's not even, it's close to five and a half. So I went ahead and did that and now I'm going to stain the edges of this and I will show you what else you can do with wood to sell at your um, craft fair or give them as gifts. Okay, so I have all of my pieces. They've been sanded, all the rough edges, and now I'm going to show you what you can make with these as well. Okay, so my next idea is I'm taking the same piece of wood that I did for my cutting boards and this is a 10 inch by 12. And we're gonna make a cute little tray. Super easy, all I'm gonna do is sand each side and then I'm gonna show you the little legs that we're gonna put on here. And super simple, what a great thing to sell at a craft fair or even to give this as a gift. But the completed project is what is going to be amazing. For pennies on the dollar, under five, well, for under six dollars, I wanna say, you have created this cute little tray. So let me work on this and I will show you how I do it. Okay, so the next thing I did is I went ahead and sanded all of my, I love this big old knot right here. For some reason it gives a character. And I'm just making a simple little tray. Um, I'm gonna show you the little legs now. Um, I actually love getting everything done. And then I will um, paint and then show you the stamp. I'm gonna, actually gonna put a stamp in here. Now, if you wanna get fancier, you can do an edge with another um, one and a half by one and a half piece of wood around it. I just decided I just want this flat. And then I bought two handles. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna install those. But first, I'm going to stamp every project that I did today with some white stamp. I will show you that in a second. I'm gonna continue cutting my wood because I do have two signs as well. I'm gonna use the same 10 by 12, so I'm gonna go ahead and say those two pieces of wood so I can go ahead and show you the signs that I'm gonna make. So today we are making cutting boards, a tray, smaller cutting boards, and some smaller little signs, and then two bigger signs. So it's a lot of project for one day, but I can't wait to show you what this is gonna look like. So let me go ahead and say in my two other boards, and we'll get to it. So these are the little pegs. It's from Madison Mill. They're the one inch by 2.54 centimeters, whatever. Um, 2.54 centimeters or one inch little buttons they're called. I did want to make this two I need four of them to get six in a pack and I will list below all the items here so you'll know. And then I'm going to use some E6000 and this is just going to go on to, do you all see that? Um, it's just gonna go right there on each corner, just to give it a little height. Now I didn't want it to be too high, I just wanted to give it a little height. And I, this is gonna be my bottom. I really love that big knot in the middle, I don't know why. And um, simply what you do is you take your E6000, if this is not glued together, and it is. Pliers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the bottom of this while I do my other stuff and then I will go ahead and stain this one, of course. Let me get this together. I'm using this E6000 glue 
And this one's kind of like stuck in there. I guess we didn't put the lid right. And I'm gonna put it on each corner. And I'm gonna let it dry. Just don't want this to explode on me here. Lesson learned. Oh, there's a hole on the side. Great, I got it all over my fingers. Oh, it popped on the side. So I guess I'm gonna use it and then I'm gonna to toss this one because on each side, make sure that they're even. I know you can't see, but I'll show you. things happen on camera because you can see it's not always perfect trust me and that one there so here it is right here I went ahead and glued all four let's see what happens next so I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll get back to that oh it's a little bit hot I went ahead and sanded all my pieces, cut out all my pieces. What I'm gonna do is I am actually going to use this Pittsburgh Paint Stain Stain Color Sample. This one is a white base. I have never, ever, ever used this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I applied this together. We'll do it together and then we'll go from there. Um, what I do is I take a towel and I dust off all, I got stuff everywhere. Woo. Um, I dust off my wood first and then we'll apply the stain on the back side and then we'll do the front. So let's get to it, shall we? So um, when I was at the home improvement store, I went ahead and asked her to open this because I didn't know if she could add um, a color. I guess you can because it is a white base stain. I have never used this before, so we're doing this together. I have been just shaking it up for a while. And we're actually gonna start with one of the cutting boards. Um, this one looks really nice on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start staining this one and I'll show you what it looks like here. I'm gonna open the can and show you. Maybe I should read the direction. Well, do not swallow or get on skin. Might need to wear gloves with this one. That is why it's always um, good to uh, read the instructions. <laughs> so, so it's saying your surface should be clean and dry. And then prior to staining, so you do have to wear gloves to do this why you got to read instructions so as you can see the tint is white so I'm gonna go ahead and get some gloves for myself and start staining this I will show you on camera one of the things that I forgot to show you is when I drill a hole you just simply take your bit, whatever bit size you want, and just go ahead and drill your hole. Resand over so you don't have any splinters. And then I went ahead and wiped this clean. You'll always have some left over. And then I'm gonna put you down here. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna stain this. I'm gonna wear these plastic gloves like they said to do. I'm going to use a rag and I'm just going to start staining my board. This will be my back right here, so I'm going to start here. So it is a subtle white. I love it. And then you just apply it like you're washing it.
Don't forget to do your edges as well. So it's like a whitewash almost. I love it. What a great gift idea. What a great uh, wedding or you can put their initial on here. I just think that this is a gift that you can give for a housewarming gift. Um, anything like that. Um, it just takes a little piece of wood and a little bit of your time. And if, like I said, so sellable at a um, craft fair. Um, I'm going to put these in my boot. I don't know what price yet. Um, I like to be compatible to other people that are selling these. So I'm going to look online what other people did for this. Um, I know they can really... I seen them at um, Hobby Lobby and they were, depending on the size, they were in the $20 range or more. So, oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. So I'm going to keep going, you guys, and then I will show you the result when it's all dried. So now that I have it all covered, I'm actually going to take another towel and I am just going to rub it down. So it's not, if I wanted to paint it, I would have painted it. So this still has the natural wood coming through. And I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. So I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to finish painting all of the other ones and then I will show you when it's time to do the stamping. So I've given a coat on each side right now. I'm letting the second side dry. And um, I know it's a whitewash. I absolutely love it. So I'm letting it just dry and then I'm going to go ahead and use some Waverly paint to do uh, my tray and my uh, signs. So like I said, for my tray, I'm going to go ahead and use some Waverly chalk paint. I'm going to wipe this down as well. I'm going to start from the bottom because I like um, my entire piece to be painted bottom and top. The uh, E6000 work perfectly on my little knob, knobs. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the um, bottom first. I know for you guys, you watch these videos and you think, okay, you know, but this is uh, quite a few hours of work to prepare and that's why I'm doing it in bulk. Um, I'm not just doing one at a time. So, so I'm doing multiple projects at one time. So I'll, um, some are for me, some will be for the sh to sell. And like I said, these are for craft fair ideas, 2021. It is also a perfect gift giving idea or something that you can sell if you have a boot or um, you, you just want to do um, something to sell. Um, I'm trying to do something different than <laughs> my phone is sliding. I am trying to do something uh, different than paper goods, even though I love paper goods and um, I will be doing some more of those. I just wanted to do something a little bit different for those of you that don't do uh, paper goods or want to do craft fair but needed an idea or something different to do. I'm using this great brush that I bought at that one a little shop. Um, I believe it's from Dixie Bell, and it's uh, number 23. I'm just going to use this brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint here to some music for you guys. Oops. I'm actually going to paint and show you after. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and stencil on... A cutting board. Um, I'm using Waverly ink black paint and I'm not sure exactly 
um, Iron Orchid stamps. I have my animals again still. Okay. That was a big honk. I jumped. Or I don't know if I just want to do bakery or something like that. So I'm just going to go through. These are stencils that I actually purchased on Amazon. I will link that below. This one says grains. And these are like, this one's a little too small, I think. And then always open self search kitchen, oven baked bread. This is actually a Christmas sign, which is huge, which could also work if it was during the holidays. Right now, I'm making it for now. This one just says coffee. I know I don't want to use that one. Um, this is Christmas jingle all the way stamp. I mean, um, stencil. This one says Merry Christmas. What I think I do want to use is I want to use some of these lines at the top. I don't think I want to go up and down with it. I think I might want to go a top at across the top with it. Um, let me see what else I have. Even some of the Christmas like work here. No, no. No, so I think what I'm going to go with is I'm actually going to use this line. Sorry, guys, I'm all over the place today. I'm actually going to use the stencil from the top here. And I'm going to just put it even. And I'm going to stencil that in. I'm going to tape my stencil down. I'm going to pull it up down a little bit. You want to make sure everything I really don't know what that's about guys it's a truck it's a truck with a big horn no reason for that but anyways yeah I or I want to bring it in the center so there's two lines here there's this the top one and the bottom I think I'm actually going to center this and do the line and then stencil in the middle but I think if I do the um, grains I love this one in the middle it will fit so I'm actually gonna do uh, the lines in this and I'm gonna do everything in black ink from Waverly so I'm actually going to tape this down so it does not move when I do it I think this is going to be gorgeous. And I'm going to tape the bottom. And I'm looking here and this is not even at all. There we go. And then I'm going to do tape on the bottom here. And what I'm going to use is, I bought this brush from Walmart. Is that ideal? No. But I, this is what I want to use. I want to use this little brush. And I'm actually going to use the medium sized one to do my stenciling up at the top here make sure that it's so I'm gonna pull on my stencil to make sure that it's you know even and it looks great hey if I mess up I can always use more paint to paint it through so I'm gonna mix this up shake it up take the lid back off here and and I'm actually going to use um, a paper to dab some of it off and then I'm going to start I'm going to start at the top here
notch there at the top, but I really don't mind it. I think I think it's gonna be okay. You know, this is homemade stuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use my grain, which I'm gonna set right in the center. I really like this one. And I'm gonna use tape again to tape the side this time and I'm gonna center this. I am so excited about this project. I think I'm gonna sell my smaller ones for uh, Looking at prices, I think I'm going to sell my big ones for $16.95 and my small one for uh, $10.95. I just got to make sure that all of them come out great and then I'll assess. But I think that's a good price for these. Um, it'll just depend how much more stuff I put to it too and depend how big. If I put um, the chicken wire as a um, bottom piece I might just go $21.95 it all depends what else I put with this when I am done so I'm gonna go ahead to some music and while I know it's sideways and you can't really see but I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the wording on this and I think I am a little crooked I hate the fact that I messed up a little bit but I think it's okay I tried to be perfect. I tried. I'm gonna remove this and redo this. Recenter this real quick here. Without touching the paint. Okay, it is centered there. I just wanna make sure my lines are right there. Okay. Now to some music, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this very carefully this time. I am actually going to use um, the same one.
So I stamped it. I'm going to go ahead and remove it as carefully as I can. Oh, I love it. Nice. So I do have to wash these. I'm going to keep it and put it on top of the other one. You all ready? Look how beautiful this came out. So I'm super excited about this. This just came out beautiful. So the other day when I was at Hobby Lobby, I purchased this um, chicken wire ribbon. And I was thinking if I could put some at the bottom here and I'll show you what I'm wanting to do. Oh, that's a piece of metal. So I was thinking if I take some of the chicken wire and I bought a new uh, gun. But I was thinking if I would put this at the bottom like so and staple it, I think that would look really, really good. I think that would look really good. So let me go ahead and staple this up and I will show you the end result when I'm all done. So I went ahead and stapled the bottom. I'm going to have to wait till this is perfectly dry. I have my chicken wire and I also wanted to add a little bit to this. So because it is fall time, I ordered these two bundle of wheat from Amazon. Um, you get a hundred stems and I'll have to link that below. I forgot how much it costs, but you get about a hundred stems. So it's a pretty good deal. I'm just gonna push this up. And I'm just gonna grab a few of these, like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I wanted to add, let me turn this around. I wanted to add some wheat to this right in here, and I was just gonna tie it with um, some jute twine. So let me see, I might have to cut. I thought that would look cute, but I think I'd rather have it lower. Maybe just the, the stems would look better. I'm gonna do three stems just to see what it would look like real quick here. Oh, I like that better, and then I could stagger them a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it with some jute twine right there and then cut it. I'm not gonna cut it right away. <laughs> You never know. I got my jute twine here. I'm gonna put it in within the um, the what the chicken wire. I'm tie it down. Let's see. I love that. I'm going to add a little bow there. And with my scissors, I'm going to cut it. That. I really like that look. Look how cute that came out now if you want to tie it and hang it from the top you can but I just love the, the look of this what a great way to boost your boot for your craft fair or um, give as a gift to that farmhouse friend of yours that loves to decorate our house that way uh, you can sell this um, on Facebook market if you want to open yourself up a little something um, just to bring something different to my craft fair series wood crafting so with some music I'm going to show you the rest of them that I made up it's basic the same thing and then I will go back and show you how I put together my tray my signs and my little signs I can't wait 
So here are all of the cutting boards. I made four big ones and two small ones. I am absolutely so happy with them all. They came out great. What a great piece to add into your kitchen for decoration, to give as a gift, to sell in your craft fair, or to open up a little boot on Facebook Market. These are super easy, inexpensive to make, and makes a great statement. <laughs> Absolutely love the cutting board so now we're gonna change this up and we're gonna go to the tray that I was trying to make so let's do this so I went ahead and painted my piece of wood with some Waverly white chalk paint I still love the knot right there and then um, remember we had added those little um, feet to it so now my biggest thing is I bought these two handles so i'm going to put those on each side and now my biggest issue is what do i want to put on my tray now i was thinking about doing my sorry guys doing my handles right here and then just taking i really love these lines right here i thought about doing them across but then i thought up and down i really love that look so i would have the handle onto the uh, lines or I was just thinking I would just grab so as you know some of these are for the holidays so I really like this baking company sign so the hard part is to just have so I think I'm going to do bakery bread pies cake pastry fresh daily and then I think I'm going to go baking company at the bottom here so just adding that so i think with the handles on each side being that they're black will look good and then this in the middle and then here um i really like these stencils the only thing is i did not wash them right away so now i have residue i'm gonna have to go to our home improvement store and get some of this um paint removal and clean my stamps so i really love this bakery in this little baking company sign. So I'm going to go ahead and stencil these on and then I will show you what it looks like. So for the handles, you, I'm not using drawer handles. I'm actually using pool handles. Um, I went to my hardware store and what I asked them for was handles that you would use on a gate or something that you pull outside and that you screw from the top and not from the bottom because it's not a drawer pool that you're looking for that's very important because then you would have to drill underneath and do a um, insert for your screw head to go into on this board it wouldn't matter that much but also the thickness of the wood would matter so again these are from menards here in kansas city and this is called a national hardware and it is a pool they also sell some different pools on Amazon. I will link the one that I had purchased before so you can see what I'm talking about. So I have both handles put in. 
I actually measured, so you would have to measure how far from the edge you're putting it in and from both sides so you have a centered look. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp uh, the two uh, stamps because I wanna use two different ones for what I wanted to say on here and then I will show you. I am absolutely loving this. And when I do the baking company here at the bottom, I think it's just gonna add to it. Now, the other things that I was gonna do is I was gonna do these little squares Unfortunately for me, I cut them too small, so I need to reorder some more stamps that will fit this size. Um, I thought about using my animal prints that I got, but they are also too big for what I want to do. Let me just show you real quick. I'll just leave that there. The animal prints are too big. His little butt is sticking out, even sideways. Um, maybe it does fit. Let me try that again. So I stamped the first part, bakery, bread, pies, cake, pastry, and fresh daily. So now I'm waiting for it to dry so I can add the second stamp, which says baking company. I think this is so cute for a little tray. You can put it on the table, put some pumpkins, you know, or you can just have it leaning against uh, your backsplash and your on your kitchen sink. You can actually use this for many reasons you can take. Uh, put your food on here and take it out like your cups and stuff like that to carry it could be a breakfast tray It could be any kind of tray. You can put it on the scent make a centerpiece out of this put a candle a little greenery a little pumpkin Anything like that. I really think it came out great now. I had cut out all of these um, Little pieces and what I did I'm just going to show you one of them. I stamped some of my animal prints on here isn't that cute? So you can do a couple of these and then you can just have them, you know, for decoration on a counter or just, you know, and you can sell these. Just the little bit of extra to have to sell in your boot. I think they're really, really cute. Or you can put little hooks behind for it to hang on the wall. So I have a couple more of those to do. Um, I'm gonna probably do the same thing um, because I think the other ones are a little bit too big that I had, I really wanted to do the pig, but I'm gonna have to measure. And then um, for these two, I was gonna make some, oh, what I forgot, if, some signs. However, again, I didn't get all of my um, paints for it, so I'm gonna not do these two this time. I will show you later on when I'm doing a different project what I did with these, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my tray so I can post my craft fair series for you. Another idea for you to either use in your craft fair, make as gifts. I mean, these are super easy, super inexpensive. I mean, just to have that extra item to sell or to give away. So here is my tray. All the paint is drying. I went ahead and taped so I can have another line here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do two. I'm just going to keep it as it is. I think for a cute little tray, it came out so cute. You have your handles. You have your little feet underneath. I think it came out so cute. And then my little plaque. I think that came out cute as well. Um, I'm going to distress this a little bit. And... Um, finish off this project and we'll see where we're at. So here's my little coffee bar sign, my tray, uh, the sheep, and then the French little sign that says specialty of patience made with fabric, fabric, mark of fabric, mark of fabric, Asian, mark of fabrication. Woo! So I think that these came out cute. The little signs, you can do maybe $4.95 on them. Um, the tray, I would probably do $14.95 to $16.95. And then you have your little coffee. Now the little signs, you can actually staple a little hook on the back if you want to. It is entirely up to you, but I think they look good.
I am so happy and proud of this project for Craft Fair Series 2021. It is totally different from what I usually do, but I hope that you get inspired to do something like this. You can create gifts. You can sell these. Your imagination is where you want to go with this project. If I can do it, you can do it, and it is very cost-effective. What a great gift that you can give to people, to your friends, to your family, to that person that loves to decorate. I mean, it is so inexpensive. It would make great gifts for teachers. Um, so I hope that you enjoy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, I bring things home. I bring it with love and I bring it to life. Stay tuned for another upcoming craft fair series before the weekend ends. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.